total number of offences that we've prosecuted is almost 160, uh, over 48 victims. Um, as far as the judicial process, probably anywhere in the world is concerned, he's probably the most prolific rapist that's come through the courts. In the world? I would say in the world, certainly yeah, in, the British, in the British courts. Inilah salah satu klub malam tempat Reinhard Sinaga mencari sasarannya. Di klub malam ini pada malam minggu banyak sekali anak-anak muda yang berkumpul untuk minum-minum. Dari sini Reinhard mengajak sasarannya menuju apartemennya yang tidak jauh terletak dari sini. Dalam satu contoh kasus Reinhard mendapatkan sasarannya hanya dalam waktu 60 detik. Puluhan atau bahkan lebih korban pria yang diajak oleh Reinhard Sinaga ke apartemennya keluar dari pintu ini pada pagi hari keesokan harinya tidak sadar atas apa yang terjadi terhadap mereka. Mereka baru mengetahui bahwa mereka diperkosa setelah mereka dikontak oleh polisi. This is an absolutely unprecedented case. Looking at that amount of evidence is challenging in itself. That's equivalent to 1,500 DVD films. We believe there's over 190 um, victims that have been involved with Sanaga, with Reynard Sanaga, and 70 of them are still to be identified approximately. Some men found it very difficult to process. Some men have been unable to function uh, within a family setting and have had to leave home. Some men have um, suffered with their mental health um, to the point where some men have been suicidal. How is it possible that someone could be assaulted like this and not know? You may have had alcohol, you may have had a drug and you may have been sexually assaulted but there may not have been any physical injuries to see and if you haven't got any physical injuries then you may not even suspect that you've been sexually assaulted. Dari penelusuran BBC, Reinhard Sinaga berasal dari keluarga terpandang. Mereka tinggal di daerah seputar sini. Ia lulus dari Fakultas Teknik Jurusan Arsitektur pada tahun 2006 sebelum melanjutkan studi di Inggris pada tahun 2007. 